In this video, we continue with Spring Boot and Time Leaf. We are going to pass data from Spring Boot to an HTML page. Then we are going to connect to a database and display the contents of a table on an HTML page using Time Leaf. The first thing to explain in this video is the directory structure of our project. TimeLeaf expects the HTML files in a certain place. All Java classes are in the Java directory. All HTML and CSS files are in the resources directory. The HTML files are in the templates directory and the CSS and JavaScript files are in the static directory. We can now move on to the code. First we have the Maven Palm XML file. Since today we switched to Spring Boot 3.0.1. In addition, we have the following dependencies. Starter Time Leaf. Time Leaf Extras Spring Security 6. Starter Web. Starter Data JPA. Maria DB Java Client. And Lombok. The following is the application properties file. Here we have configured the time leaf log level, along with the configuration of the database. We are using the same database connection and tables from the Spring Security videos. We start with a simple controller with a simple HTML page. In the home controller we have the index page. The home method has as parameter a model. To this model we give an attribute named title and content welcome string boot tutorial. Pay attention to the name of this attribute, this name will be the same later in the HTML page. Then we return a string with the name of the HTML page without the extension HTML. Then we can proceed to the HTML page. This looks like an ordinary HTML file with a few extra commands. Note the time leaf reference in the HTML tag, the styles reference in the link tag, and the reference to the title in the h1 tag. The name title is the same as in the home controller of Spring Boot. Then we have two link in standard HTML. We can now start the project a first time and see what happens. After starting the project we see in the browser the expected result the welcome title, and the two links. We can also have a quick look at the HTML code in the browser. We can now return to Eclipse to further develop our project. First we create a new record. Message. With three fields. ID. Title. And text. In the message service we create a list of seven messages which we pass to the home controller. In the home controller we load the message service and in the message method we create a model of the title and the list of messages which we then pass to the message HTML page. All this data is brought together in the message HTML file. Here we create a for each loop of the messages data which we process into a table. I also want to briefly show the style CSS file. We can now restart to see the result. We can now return to the browser to test the project. We open the welcome page and go through the link to the message page. Here we see the table of seven messages. We can also briefly view the source code. In the next part, we are going to pass data from a database to an HTML page. We will use the database and tables from our Spring Security series. First up is the Entity class. Users with all the fields from the database. Then the Users Repository. And then the Users Service class with one method get users. This service returns a list of users to the Controller class. Then we have our Users HTML file where we put all users in a table. And finally the home controller where we pass in the user's method the data to the HTML page. Again this is done with a model and attributes. We can start our project one last time and test it in the browser. 
We can now go to the browser one last time to see the result. From the welcome page, we go to the users page via the link. Here is expected we see the three users in a table. Again, we can briefly look at the source code of the user's HTML page. Here ends the story for today.